I, I'm kind of excited and yet a little a apprehensive. I don't, uh, I don't know what to expect. But I'm, how do you say? Uh, I'm thankful that that they're doing this. This is great. I, I, I think it's a great thing for veterans, and it, it makes me feel good that I did what I did in the service. Yeah. Well, we're going to be doing it together. I've never been on this. And uh, yeah, so we'll just kind of get into it together and we'll talk along the way. And I know you probably have a lot of stories to tell and uh, I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun for us. Oh, thank you. I uh, appreciate this and thank you for, for coming along and uh, helping us do this. All right. On the right hand side as we drive right around this corner look to your right and you're going to see the capitol yeah they call a place called capitol hill all us bus drivers call capitol hill with what we've had to put up with for the last year and a half but there it is raymond what you're feeling right now no, I've got some mixed feelings. I, I'm so grateful to be here. Uh, I see all this happening around me. I think, uh, you know, I, I, here I am. I, I'm looking at these monuments, and it's just uh, that's really, really kind of awesome, you know, awe-inspiring as far as uh, I never thought I would see something like this. I really didn't. It's home a little bit. Yeah, it does. Uh, Brings back a lot of memories. Well, I lost a lot of friends in, in Vietnam, so uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that. And I don't know how I'm going to take that, actually. How was that? Was that what was that like for the troops? Because there was a lot of people losing their lives there, right? So yeah, a lot of people. You never know. Life. Like you come back to your barracks and you right. hear that so and so. Uh, didn't you, you carry them out. You're the one carrying them out of the. Okay. Dragging them back, you know, kind of revive them, and, but. You know, you, you lose them out there, you know. You, you see them covered up in, the, in their ponchos. But uh, it's going to be a little bit hard for me, I think. A uh, couple of years ago, over at the VA office, I know this guy. Give it back. Give it back. best friends. He took care. We all we traded weapons, and I had the M79, and he. Uh, 
he wanted to trade because he was tired of carrying the uh, machine gun ammo and the mortar rounds. So we traded and then they called up when we hit the ship. Called them up to, for the M79 to shoot the M79. Never came back. I had to go a little bit lower to carry them out. And, yeah, it's really sad. Uh, especially right when you spend some time with them as a brother, you know. I could oh, probably reach that when I'm eating. Oh, yeah. But I'm going to use the I wouldn't feel guilty. It's just sad. 30. No. All right, which one are you trying to get? Leroy Howlin. Thank you. Right in there, and that'll help protect it a little till you get home. Thank you. My pleasure. Appreciate it. Time, my pleasure. Hits home for you. I feel a little bad for you there. Yeah. There you go. He had a daughter the same age as mine. But, uh, I don't have any extra. So, yeah, I don't know. raise your hand uh, or slide it down as I walk by. I'll come by and do it for you. When you see images like this statue, it's, it's pretty lifelike. Yeah, it is. Only you wear black jackets most of the time, you know. Yeah? The weaponry? Yeah, yeah. Machine gun, eight sixteen. Did you get did you have a choice of what you could use? Like did did uh, or had, did you have to be re, we what's had, your issue? Yeah, we had a machine gun, we had a M seventy nine in our squad and then we had the rest of the guys carry the M sixteens with the machine gun ammo and then if we had a mortar platoon we would have to carry mortars if we weren't carrying uh, But if you went in did you have the choice of what you wanted to take or did you have to Reordered to take. You're going in with the machine yeah, gun. Yeah, you really wanted it. We, we could we trade. We were all trained on okay on each weapon, so yeah. we could we could go from one to the other. And I, and I would imagine some people like this gun better, and then some people like this gun better, right? There you go. Yeah. And some didn't want to carry all that excess ammo as far as the machine gun ammo and 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 the uh, mortar rounds or whatever. So they would switch. Definitely advantage to have the machine gun though in oh, combat, right? That was the most dangerous though. That would be that would draw the fire right away. Would always get hit. That would be they would always get shot up. The M the M sixty machine gun. The M sixty machine gun would always yeah. get hit. Yeah. Like and, in in battle. In battle, yeah. And then uh, they'd need repair, so I cannibalized one to get one going, so we could get it back out to the field, stuff like that. And, and I'd have to go get parts from other. Other companies that that hit the crap and try to put them all back together. Try and put them back together again, you know. So yeah. it was uh, quite a hassle, but we got them back out there. Yeah. It, it's a pretty resilient weapon. It's, uh, it's pretty durable. Oh you know, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's reliable too. It is it's very fail proof. Well, I'm not going to say fail proof, but it's it it can be dirty, full of mud, and all that. It'll still keep shooting. Yeah. M16s are like that too. Yeah. But you got to just make sure the cover is, the, is always covered the front and then the, the little door panel.
Think of that the memorial. I think it's great. I uh, I see a lot of heroes that that go unrecognized, and I uh, I appreciate them coming back and doing this for me. And uh, it, it, it makes me proud. Yeah, it does. What do you think of this facility, though? Isn't that nice? Oh. You know, you can't even imagine this stuff. You know, uh, <laughs> you've never seen it, and you, you you see what they've done, how they put. Together and it's just beautiful. It's really nice. Really nice. I can't believe you guys have done this. They've, people have contributed to send us here. And, uh, it's just fantastic. It really is. On the side, or we see different areas. It's under constant repair. So you'll see. See how beautiful it is here. All green, looking up and down the headstones. This section right here, number 60, this is where all the Afghanistan and uh, the most recent uh, warriors are being buried. So Raymond, you've got, you've got a prestigious thing that you get to do today. I, I, I can't believe it. I, I, don't, I don't feel I deserve the honor, but apparently somebody decided that I, I, I do. But there's so many, so many, how do you say, heroes that, are, that, that that are unknown or don't get don't, don't get recognized and yeah. uh, I feel that uh, you know I'm I shouldn't be the only one maybe we should all do it as a group I don't know. so you'll be laying the wreath and that's quite an honor so okay secret service yeah we better yeah all right Shoulder!
You know, it's like, it's incredible when you see it. Yeah, yeah. Because it's just an amazing monument that no, someone- but, but now you know what, what I do, man? To think that someone actually made that. Right. You know what I mean? Somebody Sculpted could, it. You know, right. Who could do that, you know? Who got time to make something like that? Yeah, right? out of marble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just carve it out little by little. Yeah. Breathtaking, man. I wonder if they did it in Mexico. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Let's take a picture, man. We'll right. get right up. Thank you. 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 Thank and in Benoit Air Base from May of 1969 to April 1970. He was, a first, he was first assigned to the 82nd Airborne Division, patrolling and setting up ambush sites to control Viet Cong movements southwest of Saigon near Ben Luck. Ben Luck? Ben Luck, sorry. Three months later, reassigned to the 1st Cavalry Division for the remainder of tour patrolling, clearing Viet Cong, set, setting ambush in various locations near the Cambodian border. He is the recipient of a Distinguished Cross of Gallantry, a Vietnam Service Medal with one Bronze Star, an Air Medal, an Army Commendation Medal with one Oak Leaf Cluster, a Bronze Star with Valor Device, a Bronze a bronze star with valor device and one oak leaf cluster, and a purple heart with one oak leaf cluster. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ryan Thank you. Enjoy, 
think when you go back from this, you'll take something back with you, maybe? Like, huh? you know? Yeah, I definitely will. I'm kind of like recharges your brotherhood, right? My, a little bit? My pride in, in my country well, is, is regenerated, you know? I, Recharged. Yeah. yeah. You can lose sight of that a little bit, you know, as time goes on, you lose. You know, you don't, you don't feel like you're not, you don't get, nothing was appreciated. But, you know, I've seen all this, the memorials, you feel, hey, I was there, I, I, I contributed, I feel honored that, that everybody respects what I've done. It, it has to feel good too that the Vietnam vets are now getting their recognition, right? Because when they came back, they really didn't get the recognition they should have gotten. And now, people have an understanding of like the sacrifices that were made exactly exactly there was no fanfare no nothing for the soldiers they they just came back and kind of mixed in and weren't acknowledged one bit yeah. Yeah, you guys are you guys are really you got friends for life now, right? Yeah.